I don't even mess it up, but it was like something about having love in the city versus keeping the love in the city. Right? And uh, shout out to my, my uh, producer, Alex, because this is a great question, the way he informed shout me. Shout out to Alex. <clears throat> when we talking about you getting, like, we know you you got love in the city, right? Mm -hmm. But we talk about keeping the love in the city. I feel like we've seen, um, and this conversation gets redundant at this point, but this is different. Mm -hmm. So Wale, right? right. He, um, he posted, like, uh, his show dates. Mm -hmm. But he, he left D.C. off on purpose because he had something special for D.C. Right. And everybody goes in an uproar. Mm -hmm. But then he posts it. And I don't even, I, don't, I feel like the energy wasn't the same. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, the love wasn't nowhere near as great as the crit critiques was when they seen that it wasn't, it wasn't on it, right? DC date, yeah. And I'm just wondering, like, from you, being from the city, like, we know you got the love. Is it harder to keep the love? Like, um, nah, not really. Because when love is, when, when it's genuine, nah, not really. You feel mm -hmm. me? Um, you know the internet just do a great job of trolling. The internet, you know, you 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 can you can create fake accounts and write what you want. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, and you gotta understand while they've been dealing with a lot of hate since he since, <laughs> since Nike boots. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, it is what it is. And you know what I just realized? Shout out to Wale too. I just went to his show in um, Atlanta at, at the Tabernacle, mm -hmm. right? When you got that type of love, how can you possibly entertain or care about the hate that you get? These people still love Wale. Can we get Wale age real quick? Yeah. These people still love Wale. It's bitches still showing their titties, throwing bras, throwing panties, not paying attention to their man. It's grown adult males at these shows, at these concerts. I'm, I'm talking about singing word for word, man. I got about 100 videos in my phone because I just couldn't believe, like, my dog, like, and I'm looking like, first and foremost, wish I had the following and fan base that Wale had, me personally, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Wish I had that type of fan base and following. And But I'm looking at the concert and I'm like, bro, how could you possibly even care or entertain your hate? Look how many people love you, bro. State to state, worldwide. Radio stations I'll tell you the type of person Wale is real quick. He he got in town and was calling a couple people, right? And a couple people didn't know he had a concert, right? So he was like, yo, he went into panic mode. Bro, get on the phone with every radio station, man. We need to fly around and go to the radio station and let them know I'm gonna be at the tabernacle tonight. Like, how does Greg Street not know I'm here? How does such and such not know I'm here? And I'm like, I understand where you're coming from, so I'm like, fuck it. You want to go to all the radio stations right now, even though you're supposed to be getting dressed to get on stage? Like, this is what you want to do right now? Mm -hmm. In Atlanta traffic? He's like, yeah, I want to do it. I'm like, all right, bet. We're going to go do it, right? And I'm sitting here thinking like, all right, so I wonder if he panicking like this. Honestly, in my mind, I'm keeping real. I'm like, I wonder what the ticket sales doing. Like, what do you think? Like, how, is the, what the venue going to be? We get in the venue... It ain't a motherfucking soul who don't know Wale is in Atlanta, man. What the fuck is you talking about, man? And I think on this night, on the same street, he said, who else had a concert on the same street on the night as Wale? It was Jasmine Sullivan mm. and somebody else. Jeez. It was three artists on one block, whatever that block is in Georgia, where they got all these venues in it. So he was like, he was panicking and shit. And I'm like, all right, I'm being quiet. I'm on the phone and shit. But in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, damn, you know, if he if he if he in panic mode like this trying to wrestle the radio station, maybe the ticket sales ain't do good or something. We get in the venue, bro. They call him out. First of all, you know, before you get on the stage, the crowd always start that, wow, like, mm -hmm. wow, like. So I'm like, okay, it sounds good. You know what I'm saying? I get out there, it's a packed house. You can't book no more seats in this venue. Like, what would you pack? So that's just how he is, bro. He, I don't know. But. Yeah, I'm telling you, he might have to do the podcast, bro. He getting used to it. He like, what, what's Wale age? <laughs> yeah, 